Masa saya kecil lah, saya punya papa tiba-tiba itu jadi sangat sakit lah. Ada satu kali dia demam untuk tak tahu beberapa hari lah. Kita pun tak tahu apa-apa lah. Dan uh, semasa dia pun ada tak kena kita lah. Macam itu dia punya kepala ada salah ke sana ataupun apa saya pun kita pun tak tahu lah. Cara ada satu kali ya dia tiba-tiba kena itu koma untuk dua hari lah. Untuk dua hari kita pun sangat risau lah. Kita tak tahu kenapa apa itu tak ada itu doktor itu tak ada. Jadi itu masa yang saya kita sangat takut lah kerana kita pun tak tahu kenapa apa kita pun risau kita pun boleh kena itu penyakit lah. Nipah, a name that has stricken fear into the hearts of many in the late 1990s. It is the name of a disease that has stricken many people in the Southeast Asian region and has caused such grief and fear in its wake. So when there's an outbreak of Nipah virus, usually people wouldn't really care about it since the disease, a characteristic of the disease and the signal of it is similar to other viruses such as Japanese encephalitis. So the only way that we could find that it was not that is when the method that we used to prevent for the disease did not work and the people were still getting sick and then we began to worry about it. During the first outbreak of the Nipah virus in Malaysia in 1999, nearly 300 people were reported to have been afflicted with this disease with over a hundred deaths to its name. Many were farmers and did not have such commodities at that time to seek medical attention immediately, resulting in improper care which led to death. So how did they identify this disease and how did it help? At the start of the outbreak, everybody, including the authorities, believed that the causative pathogen of the mysterious illness was the Japanese encephalitis virus because of previous incidents. However, Dr. Chua Kwam Bang, well, back then he was still a lab, a lab assistant or a lab trainee, he realized that the majority of the patients suffering from this mysterious illness were actually Chinese. So this backed the question, is it actually the JEV? Because JEV causes um, the disease in um, usually in all uh, diverse race. So in this case, it was special because only the Chinese seemed to be affected. So what he did was he took a sample of the virus and traveled all the way to the CDC in America where he actually found the identity of the virus, which was the uh, new strain of virus called the Paramaxol virus. So this was a huge breakthrough because the government actually stopped their efforts in combating the wrong disease, which was the JEV, and focused on the new virus and the new preventive measures. You know, it's very dangerous how this disease affects us mankind. When someone becomes infected with the virus, they won't even know that they're infected until several days later. You start to suffer for up to two weeks of high fever and throbbing headache. It's hell. Eventually, you start to become drowsy, disorientated, making you lose your sense of balance, and even confusion to the point you don't even know where you are. You might even fall into a coma for up to two days. That's the scary thing, I tell you. Anyone seeing you in this state could not even help you, even if they wanted to. They just had to go with the flow and hope that you recover. After the outbreak in Malaysia, similar reports of this new disease started to appear around Southeast Asia. Similar outbreaks had occurred in the countries of Bangladesh and India in 2001. This begs the question, how did the Nipah virus spread so quickly and what is spreading it? As we know, majority of the patients suffering from this disease were actually Chinese. The reason behind that was actually because the virus originated from pigs. 
So the patients from the village of Nipah, where the virus originated from, and that's where patient zero was located at, were actually rearing pigs as their main source of income. That's how they were in contact with the pigs, and thus we realised that the pigs were actually the reservoir for this virus. However, it was later discovered that the pigs did not, uh, the virus actually did not come from the pigs, it came from the bats. However, the pigs came into contact with the bat droppings and leftover foods of the bats and managed to get infected with this virus which spread to humans because the pigs were the mixing vessels where viral recombination occurred. So the reason why um, there were similar outbreaks in India and Bangladesh were actually because of the bats' migratory pattern. They actually migrate around Southeast Asia and that's how they managed to spread the virus. So now we know more about this deadly disease. But has the general population even heard about it? One major problem in this current generation is the lack of knowledge of the Nipah virus. We did a small survey within Taylor's University asking students if they have heard of this disease or not. Out of 100 students that we asked, only 20% of them knew what it was and the other 80% have not even heard about it. Not enough research is being done on this disease. It is now the year of 2017, which is almost 18 years since the first outbreak, and we have still not half a finish developing a stable vaccine for it. The mentality that this disease can be neglected and have its research slowed down in a serious concern. What if a huge pandemic suddenly struck? What if the country's government failed to control the spread of the disease? What if the more and more countries start to get infected and the infections begin to become uncontrollable? All these what if shouldn't be taken lightly because life at stake. We don't want another pandemic like the Black Plague that happened again. The current development of a vaccine has only reached to the animal testing phase where it is successful when tested in African green monkeys. But human test trials have yet to be conducted and won't be seen yet in the coming few years. Although there are no more reported outbreaks ever since 2001, there is still sporadic cases still occurring until this day. The only way we can counter the Nipah virus is by having strict preventative measures to prevent any more outbreaks. It makes you think how much caution is being taken by the world and if we are doing our best to tackle such a disease. Time will only tell if we will be the victors or the losers of the battle against the Nipah virus.